Let's start with the reach. I'm um, there. Here we go. All right, that. Arms back, shoulder height. Up and over. Here we go. Reach. Good. Reach, reach, reach. Good, now we're gonna sweep it across, here we go. Good. Here we go now. Good. Other side, here we go. <clears throat> Good. Just for a couple, we're gonna come up on our toes, and just reach. Very good. Now let's rock on our heels. Bring our toes up off of the floor. Good. Good. Couple circles here. Before I jump start in three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Relax. <clears throat> All right, we're shooting down to the floor. Push ups on our knees. Belly's tight. No rounding in the shoulders. Here we go.
Good job. <coughs> got it. All right, let's get ready for those cocoons. Here we go. And relax. Good job. Be careful coming to standing. Battle rope simulation is next. One, let's go. Stop. Very good. I know. Take a deep breath. <clears throat> Let's take it down to the floor. Those hyper extensions laying flat on our belly. We're aiming to try to get our knee up off of the floor just the tiniest bit. It doesn't have to be very hot. But if you get those knees up, you're going to activate your glutes and your hamstrings and your lower abdominals. All right. I'll show options. Let's lift. Very good, and relax. <clears throat> All right, you can record your time, then you're gonna stay at the floor. So, the first move that we're gonna do, we're gonna be in our position with our hands and our knees. We're gonna outstand our leg. We're gonna, oops, we're going to. 
tap. Okay, there you go. So you're taking that fully extended leg. Nice flat back. Try to tap it over in the other side. I'll give you a front for you. Let's go like this. Now, if you're able to do it without stopping and resetting that foot, great. If not, don't worry about it, okay? You could also bend your knee if you need to, or just tap it back and forth here on the floor. If lifting it is too much. Good, relax. All right, so we can have the leg fully extended in line with our torso, or we can keep our leg on the floor, I mean, closer to the floor and just tap the toe on each side. All right, so let's make sure that we switch sides. Here we go, leg extended, good. Belly is nice and tight here. Good. Now, if you need to, you can keep it here. Otherwise, we have a little arc as we lift up and over. Good. Relax. All right, so next we're going to do a donkey kick, which is also going to fire up our glutes. So we're going to have that same starting position. We're going to have an L shape or 90 degree in our leg. We're going to press our flat foot up towards the ceiling, but we want to push the ceiling up. Here we go. Lift, lift. You start to feel a cramp and just extend your leg for a second if you need to, or drop the tail. since we kicked with one side, we need to get set to do the other side. Again, maintaining a flat back, no rounding in the shoulders. Other leg comes up and press. So for me, I have to concentrate to make sure that I'm keeping this knee in line. Good. I drop it down. Relax. We're going to go down on our back. <clears throat> For this first move, knees are coming up. Arms are out straight. Chin is tucked to your chest. Belly's tight. And we're pulsing down to the floor. This is way too easy. Extend one leg, pulse it there, or extend both legs. Whichever feels good to you. I should say whichever feels like a challenge. Right here. Here we go, three, two, and one. Relax. So when we do that move, make sure that you are not putting too much strain on your neck. So if you need to, you can keep your shoulders and your head on the floor. Otherwise, if you want to bring your head up or your shoulders off the floor, tuck your chin to your chest. 
All right, so now if you were alternating sides, make sure you switch or be here. Remember, if you need that progression, you can put one leg out or both. Very good, and relax. All right, we're gonna take it to our side. We're gonna lay fully outstretched here. We're gonna lift. You can have your fingertips here at your head. Legs are in line with your body, your feet are flexed. Hotel's pointing in front of you. And we are lifting. So try to maintain tight belly if you can. Body still um, facing forward. Try not to rotate. You might want to feel the urge to rotate backwards or towards the floor. Try to stay in line. Let's take it here halfway and pulse it. Pulse. Should be feeling it in your hip. Good. Here we go. We've got four, three, two, one, drop it down. Good, if you need to, you can rub the hip out a bit. Change position so we can get it done on the other side. Again, legs in line with the body. Feet are flexed forward, fingertips lift, good. Just a few seconds, we're going to start pulsing it in the center. Here we go, pulse it. Hold on to it, you're doing great, almost there. Three, two, one, good job, drop it down. Excellent, rub it out. Nice job. All right. We're going to sit with our legs outstretched. Lean back if you can. I need to sit first. Then have your legs outstretched. If you're able to, we're going to crunch to the center. If you feel like you can't get your lower back on the floor, bring your heels together. Okay? Let's crunch it to the center. Actually, let's keep your legs here. This butterfly position. Good. Got it. Very nice. Relax. For this next one, we're we'll start off in that same butterfly position, and we are going to try to um, reach towards each side. So we're going to alternate sides. But the trick is, when we alternate, your body's going to feel like it's going to get um, unstable. So try to maintain your core and keep your torso center. Here we go. So you want to try and get your shoulder up off of the mat, leading with that elbow. Good. So if you can minimize that rock in your legs as you reach up and over, that's awesome. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna um, come to standing.
All right, we're gonna come up on our toes. There we go. Heels up, sink it down just a bit. Hold it here. Try to sit upright. Well, it's modified sit, I guess I should say. Keeping your heels up. Good. Three, two, one, bring it up. Good. All right, this one we're gonna go with a little bit wider stance. Same concept, we're gonna come up on our toes. Stick your bottom out as if you're doing a squat. Try to maintain the balance should act for our lower abdominals and our um, inner thighs. Wider stance, there we go. You need to, you can pop your heels down. Okay. It's too much. Just keep it here in the squat. That's there. Three, two, and one. Good job. Take it out. All righty. Let's take it into a wider stance. And we we're going to go into a sumo spot once more. This time, we're going to lift and lower each heel. Good, and relax. So this time, legs are gonna be, you're able to come down with your um, heels this close together, you can sink it down. You can have your belly nice and tight, sinking down as low as you're able to get. If that's uncomfortable, go with the wider stance, Bring it down here. Good. Trying to maintain a nice flat back if you can. Minimize the curvature. Here we go. Good, relax. All right, so this is a balance move that we're gonna finish with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be up on our toes. We've done this one before, it's a little bit tricky. So arms can be here or here, whatever feels good for you for balance. So we're bringing one foot front, center, and behind, center, front. Good. Tiny bend in that supporting foot. Try to spread your toes out to give you balance. If you need to sink that heel down, you can do that. Otherwise, we're up on the toes. Good job, you got it. As we work on our balance, we're building a stronger core, which is what we want. 
All right, one more time. Get ready. Up on the toes. Hands where it feels good. You want to add that little bit of extra work in your arms. You can have elbows up. Or a regular outstretch just for balance is fine. Good, and relax. And we've made it. Let's start with a nice deep breath in right here. Here we go. Is the belly in nice and tight? Let this hand drop to the side, up and over. Center, up and over for the other side. Now, if you don't feel dizzy, I want you to have a tiny bit in your knee. We're going to sink it down into a forward fold. Bring it right here. Uh, let your arms dangle where they want to. As you're in this position, you should feel a stretch across the back of your glutes, in your hamstrings, and in your lower back. As you're here, you can take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, see if you can sink down just a tad bit lower. Very good. Go ahead and drag those fingertips up the front of your body. Nice and slowly. Good. Up all the way. And we want to stretch out our shoulder, bring the arm across the front. Really give a nice press towards you, okay? Kind of relax that muscle in your shoulder. Good. Let's bring the other arm across. Same thing. Really press or pull towards you lightly. <clears throat> relax your shoulder. Intentional about that hold. Good. Fingertips to the elbow, pressing back. Good. Other side. While you're working on that hold, use this as an opportunity to just hold your belly in nice and tight. Practice breathing in and out while minimizing that rise and fall in your belly. You can do it. Good job, relax. Want to stretch our quads. So lift our leg. So you can balance on a chair or at the wall. Insert your fingertips out to the side, whatever feels good. As long as you're lifting that leg enough to the point where you feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. Minimize that lean if you can. I'm leaning. 
good. You can go ahead and reduce, uh, release that. Hold, come up on the heel, inch forward, nice and flat back. Flip those toes up towards you. It's down for a deeper stretch. And hold it here. Good, press that foot down to the floor. The legs coming up. You gotta lift them all. Very good. Bring that leg down, up on the heel, toes are up. Good. Nice flat back. That'll ensure you get a nice stretch in the back of your thigh, all the way down your leg. Gently that toe up towards you. Good, press it down. Keep breath in right here. Good and blow it out. Very good. All done. Nice. Nice work. Very good, everyone.